In this video, we are going to discuss empirical probability. The difference between the classical and empirical probability is that the classical probability assumes that certain outcomes are equally likely. So, that means each and every outcome is equally likely that was considered in our respective classical probability. You can watch the previous video where we have discussed this. Such as the outcomes when a die is rolled. While empirical probability relies on actual experience to determine the likelihood of outcomes. So, in empirical probability, one might actually roll a die say 6000 times, observe the various frequencies and use these frequencies to determine the probability of an outcome. So, here a die, die will be rolled for 6000 number of times, might be also 10,000 number of times. And for each and every phase value that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it will go on counting the number of frequencies and from there it will try to calculate the frequency or the probability of occurrence of a certain event. So, just consider this one drive 41 is the frequency, fly 6 is the frequency and train or bus 3 is the frequency. So, in total the value is 50. For example, the probability of selecting a person who is driving is 41 by 50. So, in this way because here we are having this drive, drive is having the frequency 41 and the sum of the all frequencies is 50. So, the probability that person will drive will be 41 by 50. So, in this way the empirical probability can be defined in this example. So, formula for empirical probability. Given a frequency distribution, the probability of an event being in a given class is so, that is the probability of the event E is equal to frequency of the class by total frequencies in the distribution. So, that is small f by small n. This probability is called empirical probability and is based on the observation. I think you are getting this issue what is empirical probability and also we have explained this concept with some examples. Thanks for watching this video.